we are going to prime this uh, all the way up to the brown one. I'm using the eye primer from NYC and it's like a nudie color so I'm going to just prime this up to the eye eyebrows and all the way down to the, and into the inner corners and I'm also going a bit underneath because we're going to be putting some eyeshadow not a lot but a little bit if you can see that so I just did that so I'm going to use my professional elf um, crease brush that I got um, from the holidays and I also am going to use this shimmery brown color and this palette by Profusion I'll link everything down below and so I'm going to just go right here into the socket and the outer V so I'm just working that like as so and I'm going to go all the way up and around and doing wind um, shield wiper motions and so I'm not going towards the inner tear duct. I'm just like leaving that blank. But I am going all the way around in my um, crease and the outer V. We are also going to darken the outer V darker. Um, this is just the beginning of it. So, okay. Now I'm going in with my shader brush that I got from Sonia Keshek. And I'm going to use this pink pearly color right there from the Perfusion, Perfusion palette as well. Sorry, I'm knocking things over. Um, so I'm just going to go really close in my eyelid and I'm still leaving that part blank for a different color. So I'm just packing that all over the lid up to that brown color we're gonna like blend this out so that's that now I'm gonna take this fluffy brush it's from Sephora it came in a packet and I'm gonna take this lighter brown color from this palette um because that's the closest to my skin tone so anything that's closer to your skin tone just pop that right underneath the brow bone and blend the um, dark brown eyeshadow as well so I'm going to be doing that okay so I took the this eyeshader brush right here from Forever 21 and I went in with the color, um, this black color from the Midnight palette that they have at Profusion as well. Um, and I just did the outer V right here, like so. Now, I um, am blending outwards, so instead of blending towards the eye I'm blending out and kind of defining that crease um I don't know why it did my camera wasn't on so I used this profusion eyeliner it came with the palette and it's actually really creamy as you see it's swatched really well on my hand and um what I do is I steady this eye. I don't pull or tug on it. I just steady it. And then I run this. Sorry. I run this along the waterline, which I did earlier. So I did it again for you guys. And now I'm going to go in with the Love and Beauty eyeliner. Um, it's in black. And I'm going to use also their um, eyeliner brush that it came with. And what I'm going to do here is um, basically, um, how would I explain it? I'm not going to wing it out too much. As you can see here, I didn't wing it all the way out. It's just a little bit for that, you know, intensified look. 
So I'm going to bring short strokes. It's a lot harder. So I'm going to use my um, mirror to do this. But basically, I go in as so, and I go and I'm just going to wing it out a little bit. Okay, so this is the finished look. I put in this matte lipstick um, in 901B, and it's like matte, no shimmer, no nothing. And I also went in with this e.l.f. Luscious Lip Liquid Lipstick in Raspberry. Sorry. And basically, it darkened the actual color of my lips. Um, so it's not so bright. And I don't look so um, creepy. And so this is the finished product. I just let my hair down. I had a little clippy. And, um, okay, so I'm going to talk to you about what I used. So so the palettes that I used with this look is called Sultry and Neutrals. It's a 10 eyeshadow palette and it has a magnet right here to magnetize this. It has a mirror but this is the colors that I've used in this tutorial and I'll also do I, I have swatches of um, these palettes on my blog and I talk about them. Um, these colors are kind of like sheer so you guys have to like be really careful about using them you might you know either overstep or over blend to where you can't see it anymore or whatnot so um this is the one in midnight I love midnight fever I'll probably be doing a look with this one um the colors in here are very very pigmented um except for the dark brown which is really weird and um the black i mean i have to it's kind of more like a gray instead of a black even though it looks like a black but i love these eyeshadows so far i got them at walgreens and they were two dollars and 49 cents for each palette so um i depotted my elf products and I put them in a pencil casing. These are just mag. I put a magnet strip on the back of these, and they just stay really like they stay like no other. So I just put that in there, plop that in there, and um, I have a bronzer and a blush, and then I have my eyeshadows from the Go palette over here. I have some right here as well, the colors, and I put the neutrals on this side. I have two. Um, cream eyeshadows um the eyeshadow in nice from that one kit and i also have two revlon um eyeshadows and basically when i do run out which it seems like you know i'm going to be running out here pretty soon but when i run out of that product i can depot you know another shade and re you know apply and depotting and making your own cases i think are a really great way to save space and also it's really neat and I I just discovered them it just probably a week ago and I really um, wanted to be doing that so I looked up some YouTube channels on how to do that and I will put the links below on um, who gives the greatest basically greatest video on depotting I'm not going to do a depotting video unless you guys asked for it so hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope you guys like this look and I hope you guys just stay super sweet bye guys